Finally, I wish to restate the Australian Government's grave concerns about an impending major Israeli ground offensive in Rafah. This would bring further devastation to more than a million civilians seeking shelter in Rafah, many there by Israel's direction. Large-scale military op operations in densely populated areas risks extensive civilian casualties. Australia believes this would be unjustifiable. Our message to Israel is listen to the world, do not go down this path. The limits that you are seeking, is this a call for there to be no military activities within Rafah, uh, or uh, as President Biden put it uh, in the descriptions you gave, without a, a credible uh, plan uh, in terms of how those matters are addressed? Uh, what are the uh, caveats or expectations that, uh, that you are applying? I would make two points. Uh, first is um, I don't believe the international community has see yet seen a credible and executable plan for ensuring the safety of and support for the million people sheltering in Rafah. Uh, the second point I would make is the position I have outlined is consistent with the position I articulated on in my very first response. Uh, it is a cons position consistent with uh, the principles of international law and international humanitarian law.